Hello all, welcome to the Windows API exploitation recipes for red and blue teams. Now one of the first recipes we will look at is different process listing APIs. Now you are probably thinking why should we begin with process listing? Now imagine a post exploitation phase where you just managed to get code execution and you are running on the target system. Knowing which other processes are running can be very, very beneficial, right? For an, uh, as an example, you know, are there any interesting servers, right? Because we could do a lot of uh, token stealing and all of that through a server process. Uh, what AV processes are running? IDS, IPSs, right? A lot of other interesting information. All of this is simply possible because, you know, most standard processes uh, pretty much have the same name across all systems, right? So process listing is very, very important. Now, at the very same time, once you figure out the list of processes running, then you can do other interesting things. As an example, you can then get the process ID, get a handle to the process, and then start process specific attacks. So we could do process injection, right? Create remote threads, inject a DLL, uh, you know, go ahead and dump memory, scan memory, modify things in memory. Uh, a lot of the stuff like, you know, what Mimikuts might be doing, right? Which is look at the process memory of Lasses, and then try and dump interesting data structures. Uh, we could of course do token stealing, impersonation attacks, whatnot, right? But all of this starts with fundamentally being able to see which processes are running on the system. Now, there are different APIs available, right? We could use the tool help library on Windows, the process status API, uh, we could even use roundabout ways by using WTS enumerate process, which is a remote desktop API. Uh, interestingly, which can still run in a local context. We could even use WMI, uh, you know, using COM. Now, many different techniques. These are four. We'll, we'll look at a couple of them in the next couple of videos. So the logical question is why use all of these different techniques? Right, or rather why learn them in the first place. Now, an important thing to remember is on Windows, you might be able to achieve the same goal using different techniques. Now, each of these techniques might require different privilege levels. And as you shall see in the later videos, most of these techniques may give you slightly different information. And what I mean is you might get some attributes of a process uh, when you use WMI, some when you use, you know, some other technique. So depending on really what you're after, uh, you might want to choose your technique. But of course, fundamentally, you can only do all of that if you know which techniques exist. So that is really the reason why we would want to look at multiple techniques. So that's all I have for this short video. From the next video onwards, we will start looking at process listing APIs, pick each one of them and run sample code. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day ahead.